So, I mean, to, to go back to the nutritional, some of these uh, nutritional examples, there's, uh, there's a, a sort of series of approaches which can be used in observational studies, uh, which, which provide sort of sanity checks as to what they find. I mean, one of these approaches is, is, called, is now called negative controls. It's an approach which has actually been used 100 years in epidemiology, but it's one of those things that when it was given a, a name, which is a, mem- a memorable name, uh, it's probably uh, now better uh, to recognise. But this is a, this is, w- would be something would be a situation where you would say, well, let's take uh, something which is just not plausible could be caused by this exposure, and carry out precisely the same analysis as we do for the outcome that we we've fallen in love with, the association we love. Let's do, do precisely the same for an implausible association. So uh, back in, in 1992, there was a lot of interest and publicity was, uh, about that smoking was uh, leading to suicide. Uh, mm. you know, cigarette smoking is very, very bad. Uh, but you know, observationally, it was shown that there was quite a strong uh, association that greater amounts of smoking, heavier smoking, smoking and not smoking related to suicide risk about sort of three, three, we're talking four, about yeah. tobacco smoking tobacco smoking yeah three 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 four anyway we pub- we published a paper uh, which actually had the title i can't remember exactly but the title was something like smoking and suicide demonstration of an artifact in observational epidemiology and now this was a rare case where a null where a paper which was actually arguing against something being causal was published in High impact journal, the Lancet. You know, the Lancet published uh, published our paper, and being in the US, you could we could happily demonstrate, well, not believe, but we could we could demonstrate that smoking showed just as strong an association, just as large an association with being murdered as it did with suicide. Now, thinking of a causal reason for that, the only one would be if the paramilitary wing of the health. Promotion agency had gone out and started shooting smokers as the ultimate terror. <laughs> but otherwise, it's rather difficult to come up with a with a plausible story. So, that, so that's what we, that's what we showed, and that was a that was an example of what's now called negative controls. And we did quite a lot of studies using that uh, approach. 